Hey guys, it's Ewok Pilot here, and today we're going to be re doing a review of the AV Figures 212th Trooper. Now, just to click this disclaimer, if you see anything that looks to be an error on the printing on the torso, legs, or arms of this trooper, this was a misprint, but this was a very good looking misprint. There's very, very little wrong with the figure, so I decided it would be good enough to show off in a review and do a review on. But getting right into this, first of all, we obviously have Lego's helmet here because I do not have the time or skills it takes to custom decal one of these helmets to match up with what AB Figures has. And then we have the official Lego head on there as well. And so the misprinted part looks to be this area right here. But everything else looks to be completely fine. This is a regular Lego blaster rifle here. But this figure, as you can see right off the bat, it's just got detail everywhere. There is not a single surface on this figure, well, besides the hands, that is not printed. But the hands are uh, officially Lego as well. So everything he sent me, every surface on this thing was completely printed. We've got printing on the arms. we got printing on this side of the torso under the arms. This is just overall a really great and amazing figure. Um, so getting right into the detail, uh, you can see right here we have just some of the boot printing. And it matches up with the boot printing that we've only gotten on one clone, I believe. Officially from Lego. Which is the... Uh, Arc Trooper, I believe. Arc Trooper Hammer. We got in the Arc Trooper and Special Forces Battle Pack. Then on the front of the torso here, it matches up pretty similarly to what we officially get from LEGO, although not perfect. Um, here we got some nice arm detailing and some nice side leg detailing. And of course, under the arm, we've got some really nice detailing that matches up with that. And then on the back, this is the thing that blows my mind. They printed inside of the leg. They managed to get their printing inside of the leg, which looks absolutely awesome. Like, you don't even get that from Clone Army Customs. And then it's the same thing. It's identical on the other side, just without the comm link. But yeah, overall, guys, this is a really awesome figure. I'm going to be doing a comparison between this figure and lego's official figure if you want to see that stay tuned to the channel but yeah guys that's gonna be it for this review and i'll see you in the next one goodbye